this time, we would like to recognize two very special awards that take place with this event here, the SBM 125. One of them is the best appearing car and also a memorial award that's very special to a lot of us. The best appearing car, the mainly awards plaque, the recipient is going to be car number 52, the driver Woody Pitcat, Dan Stebbins car owner. Congratulations. And AARN uh, Motorsports writer Ken, uh, Kevin uh, Rice is down there making the presentation right now. Of course, Kevin Rice is the guy that actually started this race here six years ago. The tail end of 2012 into 2013, we lost a very, very dear friend, a, a man who was very dedicated to not only the racing game in general, but had a deep love for modified racing, was a modified uh, car owner, builder, constructor, fabricator, truly one of the real gentlemen in our sport. And he was a very dear friend to everyone that was involved with modified racing. A lot of his success was down at the old Riverside Park Speedway, but when the Valenti Modified Racing Series, then the, the True Value Series was formed, he decided to come racing with that series. And he came up to Monadnock Speedway, a racetrack that was very near and dear to him. And he put a guy by the name of Les Hinckley in his car. They enjoyed tremendous success. To this date, Hinckley is the second all-time, well, actually he's fallen to third, thanks to McKennedy, third all-time winner in that series. So it becomes an annual event that we remember, recall, a very special person, Chuck Monville with a memorial award in his name. We have uh, former recipients that are here with us tonight, and uh, well, we're very pleased and proud to introduce our recipient here this evening. Now, this award is chosen by 15 members, media, and a longtime modified racing enthusiasts. 15 people tonight when they submitted their ballots, when they were all reviewed and totaled, all unanimously selected this gentleman as the number one person to receive the 2017 award. And I am honored, very honored to announce this year's recipient, one of the all-time greats down at Waterford Speed Bowl. His son is a competitor here tonight. Please give it up for Dale Holdridge. <laughs> Stephanie and Kristen Montville making the presentation to Dale Holdridge, a great racer in his own right, and uh, the man that's behind the number zero modified operation and has been for a number of years. Well-deserved, and uh, congratulations, Dale Holdridge. Starting in the last position, 27th on the grid, he is in car number nine, and he races, comes to us from Millis, Massachusetts. Victory Lane Bar and Grill Northeast Race Cars provides the sponsorship for Tommy Barrett. Barrett in car number nine. Starting in the 26th position, veteran racer, the Station Road Auto Body, Richard Iovino Chevrolet, the longtime competitor, George Sherman, out of Framingham, Massachusetts. In the 25th position, jumping behind the wheel of the Perry Racing Team, number 76, out of Bozra, Connecticut, the AP Engines, team critical sponsored car, tonight for Jeff Gernhard in car number 76. Starting in the 24th position. He was a regular competitor when the Modifieds raced here at Star Speedway. 
He is driving the Hannaford number 71 from Alfred Nain, Josh Cantara in the show winner Foods Modified. On the inside, it'll be the current point leader with the Modified Racing Series, racing out of Woburn, Massachusetts, and driving car number 92, the Nosella Paving Ear Gas, modified for Anthony Nosella in the number 92. Next up, it's going to be car number 28 as we go from the back to the front. Car number 28 is a longtime racing modified veteran, many times a champion and feature winner, and last fall was inducted into the New England Auto Racing Hall of Fame. Would you please welcome in that number 28, it'll be the one and only Dwight Jarvis from a Scutney, Vermont. We got the old veteran in the 28. We're going to go to the young guy in car number 51. Earlier this year, we told you earlier tonight, he won his first modified race, Riverhead, New York. And that was the Islip 300 earlier this year. Please welcome from Bohemia, New York, Dylan Storr in car number 51. Next in the lineup is going to be another young driver. He's a regular competitor in the SK uh, modifies at Stafford Springs Motor Speedway. Picks up a ride in one of Andy Jankowiak's cars here tonight. He's driving the number 2070 Hales from Meriden, Connecticut. The two quick chassis car for Matt Galco. Galco in the, the number 27. Oh, I'm sorry. On the inside, it's going to be Brian Roby, a newcomer to the series out of Claremont, New Hampshire. That's the 25X car. Roby. Next is car number 73X. This is the guy we just mentioned out of Tonawanda, New York. He too is driving. It's going to be Andy Jankowiak. Jankowiak in the 73X. Next is car number 55. The driver races out of Framingham, Massachusetts. The GFA Arms Tech Corvette from Natick, Mass. The driver is Joe Doucette. <laughs> Next up is the 06 car. And the interesting note on him, he has finished runner-up in this race three times in a row. He would like to better that tonight. He comes to us from Windsor Locks, Connecticut in the Atlantic Sprinkler Seacon Grand Prix car for Les Hinkley the third, the car 06. Car 7MA. Been around the racing game for a few, a few years now. Out of Oxford, Massachusetts, Kurt Vigent. Vigent. Three-time winner of this event. Coming off another great win this past weekend up in Holland International Speedway. He is a gun with the ROC, and wherever the big money races are, you can count on him racing to the front. He is driving car number 60 from Northampton, uh, Pennsylvania. BC Brendan Stuhl carries the sponsors for Matt Hirschman. Next is car number 25. It's a New England-based team. The driver is out of Huntington Pe Valley, Pennsylvania. The car owner out of Saugus, Massachusetts. The Roscoe Racing Independent Wheel Arco Welding Car for Rowey, Rowan Pennick, Seacock, SK Champion. Starting 12th, it's going to be car number 70. The Rockingham Boat, Brian Neal excavating, number 70 car from Hampstead, New Hampshire, Southern Modified Champion, Southern Modified Star, but he is home here tonight at Star Speedway. Please welcome Andy Seiss. <laughs> and he'll be joined by a second generation driver. He races out of Feeding Hills, Massachusetts. He's driving the CNG Surfacing Ryan's Package Store Chevrolet. 
He's a front runner in the point standings with the MRS. Please welcome Jeffrey Gallup, card number four. Right here at the start finish line. We got a hot shoe out of Preston, Connecticut. He's done extremely well in his modified career. Currently runs with the Wheeland Modified Tour. But tonight, he's here with the Tri-Track Series. Driving the Cerevelo's Auto Chevrolet. Please welcome from Preston, Connecticut, Max yeah. Zackham. Yeah. And on the inside, it's going to be car number 50X. Did a nice job in his qualifying heat here tonight to get himself a very respectable starting spot. The driver is a former midget competitor and victor. Tonight he drives the Iron m Precision Machine Woodward Auto Parts car. Family owned operation out of Westport, Massachusetts. Please welcome Carl Maderos Jr. And next, the aforementioned Big O. The Black Zero car from Madison, Connecticut. Family owned operation. Please welcome Mike Holdridge, starting fifth. Next is car number 99. This driver was a regular when you ran modifieds here at the Speedway. He'll put on a show every time he straps into a car. He is in the Pioneer Valley Wheel Repair. E-Keys for cars. Second generation driver. His dad's in the Hall of Fame. He's here tonight watching the action. Please welcome Richard Savory from Canton, Massachusetts. E-Keys for cars. Carries the sponsorship for the number 99. Car number 48 is next. This driver comes to us from Deerfield Beach, Florida. A Best for Lift, RE Suspensions, the sponsor for this Chevrolet powered car. Number 48 is Johnny Kievman, but known as Johnny K. Next up is a hot shoe down in Pennsylvania. He's had an interesting career, a lot of wins. Races out of Palmerton, Pennsylvania. H&S Enterprises and E. Schneider and Sons pay the bills for Earl Paulus, car number eight from Palmerton, Pennsylvania. And now we go to the two front rows. On the outside, he's a former winner with this series. Champion with the MRS. He competes with the Modified Touring Series out of uh, the state of Connecticut. And uh, he's a second generation driver. Please welcome Chris Pasteryak. Pasteryak in the number 15 Connecticut from Jewett City, the Dolly Custom and Collision Dallas Truck Center car. And on the inside, it's going to be car number 52X. Got the best appearing car here tonight. Former champion, many time feature winner, and uh, he's got a good starting spot up on the inside of row number two. Races out of Sturbridge, Massachusetts. He is in the Mayhew Tool, Allstate Pavement, YHM, W County Equipment Car for drover, owner Dan Stebbins. The driver is Woody Pitcat. And now to the front row. This guy knows his way around this racetrack and again, one of those regulars that campaigned here. On the outside, it'll be car number 12. The Levick Tree, first electric motor service Chevrolet from Swansea, Massachusetts. Second generation racer, Todd Anarumo. And starting on the pole, this guy will electrify any crowd anywhere. He is a very, very fine racer. He comes to us out of Bellingham, Massachusetts in the Arbrian Paving Chevrolet. Please welcome Classy Steve Massey. Stole that one from Matt Buckler. At this time, race fans, we would like to ask you to please kindly rise, direct your attention to the center of the uh, infield as uh, we have a guest singer tonight to sing about our country as we pay honor to the greatest country in the world. Tony Lynch is with me, 18 years old, student at Southern New Hampshire University. A big welcome to Star Speedway, Tony. You're on. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose 
proud stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Tony is the granddaughter of one of our former officials here at Star and Hudson Speedways, Bob Clivio. Nicely done. Wow. Okay. Listen up. We're going to start at number five, and we're going to count it down to one, and you know the rest. All righty? Nice and loud. Drivers got their helmets on. They want to hear you. Here we go. Five, four. Three, two, one. Gentlemen, start your engines! Representatives of the Wheel and Modified Tour, Modified Touring Series, and the Valenti Modified Racing Series. Ready to do battle here. Tommy Barrett starts 27th, the provisional starter. Throw an eye on Barrett in his attempt to get to the front. Anthony Nocell is back there. Dwight Jarvis. All right, we are set, we hope you are. Josh Manfredo peers out toward the corner, three flag. Now the dash straightaway is gonna be Steve Massey leading the charge into the corner. Todd Anarumo's right behind him and Massey leads the opening lap. Earl Paulus is on the inside, racing Pastor Yak for the fourth position. Savory down low on the front straightaway. Into the turn they go. The 50 car is right there solid. Second generation racer. Sets the pace here in the early going. Anarumo second. Pitcat is third. Paulus is fourth. Pitt is car number 99. Richard Savory. Chris Bastiak is sixth. Seventh is uh, Kyle Medeiros Jr. Eighth is Johnny K. In the ninth position is car number 25, Rowan Penning. And in tenth spot, it is Matt Hirschman. Side-by-side -side racing as Max Zackham and Andy Sykes got some battling going on. Sykes drops in behind the 16 car. to 
set the pace here as Anarumo watches in car number 12. Les Hinckley running the outside. Races Dylan Storm. Hinckley up top. Here's Hinckley right behind Nocella. Here's your leaders. Richard Savory just went by Earl Paulus, and he moves the 99 car to fourth. NASA continues to be the base set of Big Cat that's right up behind Todd Anarumo. Big Cat cast off two. Haynes with the number 12 car in the turn three. And off the fourth corner. Tommy Barrett in the number nine goes by Dwight Jarvis. Barrett's starting to pass cars. Barrett is moving by cars. Two laps into the record books. Still Anarumo giving chase. Nick Cat is third. Fourth is Savory. Fifth is Paulus. Sixth is Pastiak. Sice now comes right up behind and Gallup. Gallup slides way wide and Sice almost went down the inside on the front straightaway. Here goes Andy. Gallup fights back. Andy Sice on the bottom. The leaders are catching up to the back end of the field now. It's going to be a checkers game. Heading down the back straightaway, Massey goes to the outside of the 51 car. Anna Rubo trying to keep pace. Savory right there with the 12. Pitcat is back in the fourth spot. And we're going to car stopping at the top of the number four corner, bringing out the first caution flag. Matt Galco coming to a stop over in the fourth corner in the number 27. In October, we're going to have a Saturday afternoon show the Haunted Hundred. 
100 laps. Haunted 100 on Halloween weekend at Seacock. So the caution comes down on the 30th circuit. John McKennedy will be here August 23rd. Ryan Priest is also expected. Teddy Christopher is also expected. Ryan Priest winner today. Infinity Series, congratulations. We got a lot of fans back here happy and proud. Green flag. Steve Massey with a whole bunch of side-by-side -side racing going on behind him. Kit Kat rolling up the sleeves. He's right there with the 99 of Richard Savory. Look at Earl Paulus. Earl Paulus and Johnny Gale hooked up. Chris Bastiak's on the outside. Bastiak's on the go. Out of the number two corner, gets right on the outside of the eight car. Chris Bastiak's got himself a hot rod here early on. Earl Paulus not turning it over. Hangs on to the position. He is number five on the speedway. Bastiak is six. Now you got Johnny K going to the outside, challenging the number 50 car, Medeiros Jr. Rowan Pennick settles in behind the number 48 car. Then it's Max Zackel. The 60 car. has got a very good jump off the corners going. Richard Savory is running in second spot. Happy to sit there, here in the early going, saving on the rubber. Paulus and Pastria continue to battle for the number five position. Chris looks well. Pastiak on the bottom out of turn two. Wow, what a move by Pastiak. I don't know if Paulus expected that. Here goes uh, the 50 car, Medeiros on the bottom, and Johnny Gay's gonna follow. So Earl Paulus kind of gonna hung out the dry in the eight car. Steve Massey has led since the start of the race. Paulus and Zaka. Paulus had the lift. Hirschman went to the inside and passed him. Savory's closing on Massey. Savory right up behind Massey, off the fourth corner, and traffic lies ahead. And a 
Rumo still third. Fourth is Pitcat. Fifth is Bastiak. Medeiros is sixth. Seventh is Kay. Eighth is Penning. Ninth is Zakam. Tenth is the 60 car. Matt Hirschman. Massey pulls away again. Just when it looked like Savory, unless he's decided to back off of it, Massey pulls away. There's going to be more traffic coming off the fourth quarter down the straightaway. George Sherman looped it over in the second turn, brings it back on the racetrack. Woody Pitcat trying to keep pace with Claude Anarumo. So there's some distance between the second and third place cars. As the leaders veer down on the back end of the field again. Plus Hinkley, not a factor tonight. Bobby Barrett coming up through. Right behind Anthony Nosella. Shown to George Sherman, and he takes his car down in the infield. Halfway, halfway. flag is slowed in. Nassi, Savory. Savory trying to hunt him down. Savory looking at the same back end of the field as the leader. Claude Anarolo has been solid. So has Chris Pasteryak. Pit Cats back to fifth. Goes to the inside of Earl Paulus. Matt Hirschman just passed the 16 car, Max Zackham. Some 
good side-by-side -side racing going on further in the field. Hinkley, Andy Sice, Josh Gantara on the outside. Passing flag displayed to the slower cars as the leaders bear down. In traffic. The traffic is going to be interesting here. Steve Nassi right up behind. Two cars racing side by side. Look at Savory. Johnny Kay comes to a stop. Well, that was going to get interesting, I think you would agree, as the two lead cars came up on a group of cars, two of which were racing side by side. Johnny Kay coming to a stop at the entrance to Pitt Road and uh, bringing down the second caution flag with 73 laps in the record books. Keep in mind, August 23rd, we will return with the series, Tri-Track, Series presented by Northeast Race Cars and Parts. Things are going to get interesting. Here we go. The mad rush down Pitt Road. As uh, you can see them from here, guarding down that back road in search of their area where they're going to pull in and do the things that they need to do to make a run here. Let's see how they come out. All right, first car out's Chris Pasternak. Here's Tom Anarubo. Number 60. Matt Hirschman's the third car out. And the rest of them making their way out here. Rowan Penix out there. Stephen Massey, Woody Pitcat. Jeffrey Gernhard back on the racetrack. Earl Paulus, Dwight Jarvis. Max Zackham, Josh Canter is back. Richard Savory, Les Hinkley. But your leader is car number 27, Matt Galco. We've watched Richard Savory run up near the front in second place. We've seen Steve Massey, the pace setter, since the green flag dropped. Keep an eye on Chris Pasternak. He has had a solid run go here, and right now he's sitting pretty good.
All right, pace vehicles in the infield. The motors are ready to roll. Right, here we go. Free fly. Galco Pastriak. And Aroma. Three wide there for a moment off of turn number two. Wow. Three wide again out here in the front straightaway. 12 we have seen three wide on that previous lap. Here comes Matt Hirschman. Wow! To the inside he goes. We got a car going off the number three quarter. The 99 Sabre, and we got one, two, three, four. Four cars together in turn number three. Gallup gets away. It looks like everything's going to be A-OK, -okay. although uh, Holdridge and uh, the 76 car. Jeff Gernhardt. Two Connecticut entries together over there. Gernhardt and Dax away, the Perry 76. Fifteen laps to go. All right, speedways clear, caution lights are on. Josh looks him over, coming out of turn number four, turns him loose, great fly. Matt Galco on the bottom. Matt Hirschman, Chris Pastoriak battling down the back straightaway. What a battle here out of turn number four, and this is all for the lead. Look at Massey. Massey right there in the hunt. And Rumo's on the outside. Here comes Max Zaka, what a great race we got. This race has always been great. It's another great one. Hirschman on the bottom. That car goes anywhere he wants to go. That driver wants to put it. And Matt Hirschman is going to lead lap number 78. The money man on the point. Caution. Yellow for Jeff Gernhardt. The Northeast race cars in parts, number 76. Rowan Pennings having a good year down at Stafford. Again, the champion last year in the Tracks SK division. All righty, Josh Manfredo in position. Set to turn them loose, and here they come. Free fly. Hirschman leads the parade. Pastiak's on the bottom, right behind the second place car. Look at this. Look at that 13 car, Massey. Massey's on a mission. He led it, he wants it again. Massey on the outside of Pastoriak. Both of them right up behind Galco. And Galco impressive here. Galco was given the opportunity for a second. Whoa, Pastoriak in trouble. Chris Pastiak. We got cars that went down pit road. Not on purpose. Tough break for the second generation driver from Jewett City, Connecticut. Wow, what a run he's had. 
Dolly's Custom and Collision. Ballad Truck Center sponsors for the family operation. Equitable Bank and George Bean, 78-79, Stagger Lee, Buffalo, New York, number 82. Stewart's Automotive, 85, PLP seal coating, number 90. Rich Schlegel, number 93, Russell Reed, 95. Equitable Bank, 98. Alloy Wheel Repair Specialist, 99. Long Island Performance, 100. 100 through 125 in memory of Mark Weirnes. Reply. Look at Max Zackham now. Zackham, ready to attack him out of the corner. Tommy Barrett on the outside. Barrett's on the move. Here's Massey driving it in down low. Heading into turn number three. Oh, and around goes Zackham. A trigger effect. Wow. These guys were on the ragged edge. Man, oh man. Some good stuff at the front. Some good stuff down through. Boy, oh boy, Massey on the move. How about Tommy Barrett, huh? However, several drivers were affected by that skirmish over in turn number three. Hirschman coming off a victory this past weekend in Holland International Speedway in upstate New York with the ROC. All right, here they come. Replay. Rowan Pennick gets the 25 right in the hunt here as he goes to the bottom. Look at Les Hinkley. Les Hinkley on the move in the 06. This is one of those races when it's not over until it's over. Your leaders down the front straightaway. Massey. Hirschman gets through the corners better. Oh, we got trouble in one. Richard Savory and Earl Paulus in a spray of sparks. Paulus headed down pit road. And Savory, he backed down the hill. Twenty-one of the original 27 cars are on the speedway. Green flag! Les Hinkley on the outside. 
Hinkley trying to put it in the fourth, and he's getting a good run from Cantara underneath. Still a ways to go. Don't want to burn him up too quick. Oh, we got a little jingle over here in the fourth corner. Gallup got through okay. Zackham. The 51, he had nowhere to go. He got on the binders to prevent piling in. And it looks like the 28 of Dwight Jarvis. Andy Sice was trying to get himself in a, a position there. That did not pan out for him. We are going green, and here they come. Wow. Exciting modified action here at Star Speedway tonight. Oh, man. Caution playing here in the end. But again, everybody's able to roll away. Here they come, looking for the green flag, and again, it out of the corner, back to racing we go. Nassie settles in behind the 60 car off the turn. Oh, and a rubo. Goes around in car number 12. He'll pull down the yellow. All right, here they come. Josh turns them loose, green flag. Whoa, man, what a move by Hinkley. Wow, Cantara doesn't want to give it up. Oh, Nelly. Did you see that move over in the second turn? Hinkley didn't want to give an inch, didn't touch anybody. Man, that was wild off turn number two. They all checked up, the whole entire field checked up over in the third turn. And uh, well, didn't need to go yellow until we had a car looping out here in the front straightaway. So that will be the end of the double file restart. It'll be a single file.
All right. They are set. Chris Pasternak is back out. Looking to get a good finish here. Here they come. Green flag is out. Back to racing we go. Pennick looking to pounce. Pennick right there. Through the corners. Here comes Rowie Pennick down the back straightaway. Going right at the number 60 car, Hirschman. Hinkley runs in third. Cantara Pitcat. Here comes Massey. Massey's on the move of the outside. Quick off the number two quarter. Trying to put that car right up along the outside of the number 52. Thought better of it. Drops down low off the corner. Settles in behind the 52. Dead center down the front straightaway. Cantera. Trying to find a way by Hinkley. You wonder if Hinkley's tightened up a bit. Not as quick as he was. Cantara gave him a little shove off the second turn. Pitcat follows to 71. Nasty, no Sullivan, Barrett. Down the straightaway, Pennick is right there with Hirschman. Pennick looks just as good off the corners as Hirschman. Stays right with him down the straightaways. Into the corner they go. Hirschman got a better run down off two that time. And Jarrett still all over Hinkley for the third spot. Pit Cat's fifth, Massey is sixth. No sell a seven. Eighth spot. Tommy Barrett, Cantara to the inside. Josh Cantara races hard down the bottom off turn number four. And he moves that car into the number three position. Woo! Jam up over there. No seller off the pace. Barrett went by. the back straight away now Hershey's pulling away Hirschman has turned up the wick running away on Rowan Penny Cantara solid third But Matt Hirschman looking to make it another victory here at Star Speedway. Caution on the speedway. We got cars off the top of the number three and four turns. And Arubo backs away in car number 12. Todd had a good run first half. It's been tough the second half. Caution plagued the bend. 102 laps complete. 23 remain. Please plan to join with us here at Star once again next month on the 23rd, a Wednesday night midweek show. Hope you can make it out. Racing we go, the paint flag is back in the air as Hirschman leads the field down the back straightaway. Look at Tommy Barrett. Barrett's on the go.
Barrett coming up behind Massey. Anthony Nocella goes to the inside of car number 25X. Nocella moves up a notch. Hershey pulling away. No sellers on the charge in car number 92. Trying to get himself a decent finish here. Get a bit of payoff. Penix still solid, second Cantara, third. Fourth is Pitcat, fifth is Massey, sixth No Sella. Seventh is Tommy Barrett, eighth is Brian uh, Roby. Then you've got the Johnny K car following along with Mac Jackman in card number 16. Anthony Nocella on the outside was Massey. And Nocella to find the 13. Nocella. Right now, Nocella appears to be the fastest car on the track. Ten laps to go. Woody Pickett. He got loose. Nocella. Woody regained it. Nocella fighting for it. Nice save by Woody. No Sella continues to battle it out with Woody. Through the first and second turn on the back straightaway. No Sella's got the advantage going into turn number three. So that's the battle right there. As No Sellers trying to get a fourth spot away from uh, the number 92 car. Correction to 52, Big Cat. And No Sella moves by. No Sella is in fourth spot. Five to go, five laps to go.
Josh Cantara. Man, you get out there and you mixed it up with the heavies of uh, touring racing for modifieds here in the Northeast. You got to feel good about the way things went. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm real excited about this. Uh, happy for Goodwin and Hannaford. Uh, thank you for letting me run their car. Uh, Arthur Hannaford, my mom, dad, my girlfriend, uh, fiance Cassie, uh, Paul, everybody that helps. Thanks. It's got to be a little bit of an advantage. I mean, you've turned quite a few laps here when this division was part of the regular fair on a Saturday night here a few years ago. Yeah, this uh, I know this track pretty good, but uh, pretty excited to run here again. Well, congratulations. You put on a nice show for the locals. Thank you. All right, Josh Cantara from Alfred, Maine. Gets a podium here tonight in tonight's SPM 125. Where's Rowie? Come on over here, pal. Rowan Penix, solid run. Ran well throughout the entire race. And uh, a runner-up spot here tonight. I know you'd like to be down there, but you gave it a good run. Yeah, definitely. I got to thank all the guys on this 25 team. They did a great job, get, put a great car underneath me, and uh, we came out second. Matt was uh, quite a bit better than us, so we didn't have nothing for him, but uh, solid day for the 25 team. Yeah, and you'll be back for the August 23rd show? Yeah, we'll be back. Good to see you. Thank you. All right, Rowan Pennant goes second here tonight in Gary Casella's number 25, and a whole bunch of well-wishers, photographers, all over here congratulating the victorious Matt Hirschman taking down the victory. Family members are down here. His, his little guy. Hey, congratulations. Hey, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it was a long one. Uh, you know, uh, I owe a big part of this to my guys here. Uh, uh, I had a better car at lap 100 than I had at lap one, and that really actually <laughs> shouldn't be that way. Uh, we were no good at the beginning of this race, and we came in, and not only did we do our tire change, we made adjustments. Uh, we had four or five people that all had jobs, and uh, everybody executed uh, perfectly and uh, dialed it back in better for me at the end. But uh, I can tell you right now, we would not have sniffed the top five uh, if we didn't uh, come in and get that tire and changes. Uh, we would have been, uh, we would have been at the we would have been one of the guys getting lapped. That's how bad we were at the start of this race. And I'm not even really sure why. Uh, I'm going to definitely try and figure that one out. Uh, but uh, the caution came at the right time. We needed it. Um, and like I said, I owe a bigger part of this to my guys than anything. Uh, they, they had a bigger part in this than I did tonight. Um, and uh, like I said, they, they hit it all right and, uh, and gained me so much spots that, uh, I mean, yeah, we did have to pass two, three guys there. Uh, one of them uh, didn't have the fresh tire. So so uh, uh, not counting him, uh, like I said, my, my guys put me ahead of all the cars that could have won this race tonight. Uh, so uh, I owe a big part to them. You know, you won in Holland, and this one was on the calendar. You prepared, I'm sure, mentally. You said the crew, they got you in the victory lane here tonight. Big money they're yelling up there in the grandstands. Big money. There you go, Matt. Why? I mean, it's almost like magical. I mean, you can just turn up the wick and go when you need to go and... This car is just so well prepared. Well, it's incredible the streak we're on, uh, and and uh, you know I I can't uh, I'm almost speechless uh, because uh, I don't care uh, how good a car you have, how well prepared you are. Uh, races uh, are not easy to win, and uh, by circumstance, uh, sometimes a lot of times the best car doesn't win uh, races and. Uh, uh, but uh, to win this many in a row is incredible. Um, like I said, the preparation, uh, you know, we raced last week, and I, I raced, I worked on this car every single night, uh, late hours uh, to finish this car for this week, and that was coming off a win last week. So uh, it does take a, a heck of a lot of uh, effort in. Uh, you know, uh, I, I know what it takes, uh, and uh, and right now we're just uh, we're just on our absolute uh, A plus best game uh, that we've uh, been on, and uh, and I, I'm trying to stay there. Uh, and you know we'll uh, we'll just keep taking one week at a time. I'm not really uh, too concerned about uh, what this win streak uh, finishes at, but uh, it's been an incredible ride. And we'll see you here August 23rd for the next Tri Track show at Star. Absolutely, the Tri Track races are top priority, and uh, if if we put any effort, effort extra effort in any, it's these races, uh, and uh, so far it's paying off. Congratulations! Thank you.
All right, Matt Hirschman, your winner tonight again at Star Speedway.